Hi and welcome back to Unusual Pets. Today we're going to be rehousing a salmon pink bird eater or a Lassiodora parahybana. Um, yeah, like I said, we're going to be rehousing an LP. Um, this is a spider that I actually got a friend as part of a collection that they were given up. Um, so I already have a large LP, I already have a young LP as well. Um, so I really don't want three in my collection, so hopefully I'll be bringing him to a show. Um, I say him, it could be a female, I'm not sure, but it is a beautiful spider. Um, I'm going to be rehousing it to give it a little bit of um, clean substrate and things like that because the um, it, it was just pretty much a bit ick in there so um, I wanted to give it a like, freshen up for its new home. So this is the footage, I filmed it a little while ago, um, but yeah, I'm just it's just basic footage of a basic setup. So here we go, LP. So here we go, this is me just taking out the bits that were already in there, we don't want them in there, we got rid of them. Um, but there's also a bit of cocoa fibre in the bottom, so we're not going to get rid of that because there's, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, the spider's going back in, there's no uh, mould or anything like that in there. Um, although the spider's going to go back in, there is a lot of webbing on the glass, which um, I was going to leave because like I said it's his, um, but then I decided to try and start scraping it off in a second. You'll see that um, I should really have done it before I started putting substrate in, but it doesn't really matter because I'm not really bothered about getting it like spotless, just enough that I can see in. I just wanted to be able to see him. Um, so here's me just giving it a quick um, scrape off, starting on one side. These glass scrapers, scrapers, by the way, from Wilco's are excellent. Um, I use it all the time. I'm even using it at the minute in one of my new projects, which is coming up soon. Um, it's going to be a sort of part, a couple of parts rather than just one video, so because it's going to be a long process. But yeah, here's me just giving the glass a little bit of a wipe down just to make it a bit tidier. And Terry moving to the other side because he was in my way. Um, yeah, he's filming, so I apologise for the shaky footage. Um, he doesn't hold the camera very still, as you can see, but he's great. He helps me out a lot. So here's Terry just filming. Uh, this is me now. I'm just putting in a bit of uh, cork bark. I didn't have any rounds that were big enough for him to get into um, without using the saw, and I didn't particularly want to use the saw, so we just had two pieces and wedged it up. He's got plenty of room to get in, um, and I've put my hand in to pull out some of the substrate so it actually goes a bit deeper, start a burrow, and he will go in there and make um, a little burrow for himself, but usually he say it stays out on the surface anyway. So that's really cool. Um, but yeah, we're going to put some uh, leaf litter in all over the place just to give it that little bit of um, extra uh, texture for him to walk on and some nice dry but fresh moss. So once this gets moist, uh, moistened down, it will start to grow again, um, hopefully in the substrate. But who knows? If it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. He's not staying with us very long. So um, yeah, here's the moss just going in. Lovely Welsh fresh, fresh moss, which we collect from a friend's um, land, which is really awesome. And I absolutely love this stuff. Um, I actually get it in big sheets um, and then I use it, dry it out. There's loads there, so it's not. I'm not even depleting the... Um, I'm not even depleting it. And literally when I go back again, that bit will be grown back, so it's, it's nothing. A bit more leaf litter just to make it a bit more um, textured on the floor for him. They are um, a foresty dwelling kind of species, so they do really like that. Then here's his water bowl, nice big water bowl, because they like to get their face right in there. So I fill it up, and then we're going to put the spider back in. So this LP, like I said, was from a friend's collection, so um, he was not mine. I, th I sa keep saying he, and I really don't know if it's a boy or a girl, but I just get a feeling. <laughs> There we go, nice, very easy rehouse. He went straight in, lovely and happy. And yeah, here he is sat in his little home, um, enjoying it. This is like a day later. 
So that was the rehouse of the LP. Just a simple video, really quick video, just to show you me rehousing him. I will be back soon with more videos. I am trying my hardest to get something sorted out that I have time um, and the motivation. Um, but I do have a couple of series coming, which is going to be hopefully really good. I still have two secret projects, which I'm still working on. Um, they are still being worked on. However, it's um, I'm on a bit of a pause at the minute because it's not the right time of year so i'm kind of i'm kind of battling the year um but yeah they will be out soon um i hope you enjoyed this video there will also be a giveaway coming soon because we reached over 750 subscribers um we're headed to 1000 we're on the road to 1000 now so i'm so excited um also going to need to get those watch hours up so get ready because i might be doing some lives hopefully doing lives on a wednesday or a thursday um not sure yet just depending on if somebody else is doing lives on a Wednesday, so we're going to get there. <laughs> but yeah, I will see you all in the future. We will be back with more videos ASAP. I love you all. See you all again soon. Bye.